so here we are. This is um, this is unscripted uh, blog. Well, not as not, opposed not, to our usual right. tightly scripted. Exactly. Blogs. Not that we're ever scripted, but right. Um, um, notice the un- new couch. Unplanned new couch. But same old comforter. Let's. Well, let's one see. doesn't just throw out their comforter with their old couch. Yeah. I mean, they could, but yeah. So it's new couch. Um, a few things. First of all. I was wondering if Dustin noticed the bell pepper smell in my apartment, and he really did. I did. I'm not in me. It's when I walked in, I wasn't like, "Oh, bell peppers," because <laughs> it's just not such a common smell. But when Allison said the word bell pepper, I was like, "Oh yes, it's it's as though I've been waiting in a pool of bell pepper <laughs> all this time, but I wasn't quite aware of it." Um, did you think anything of the smell when you first walked in, though? Were you like? It, it smelled different, but uh, and I guess different from how it's been previously. Um, but it's not an unpleasant smell. But I want to I want to ask about the bell peppers because you've mentioned cooking them several nights in a row, and you said that it was particularly strong because you had just cooked them tonight. Um, are you on some sort of bell pepper diet? Is this a new thing? I'm always on some sort of diet. It just depends what is the thing, the kind of diet that I'm on. And I wouldn't say the bell pepper. It's just that I don't really like variety. I like, I go in phases. Like for right now, I'm hanging out with Dustin, but I'll just drop him and hang out with someone else any day now. I've, I've actually, I've been waiting for it. Actually. <laughs> I've been expecting it long before now. Um, and what? so when so I find something, like all of a sudden I was like, okay, I used to not like peppers at all. But all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I actually like them when I microwave the shit out of them. And make them all mushy huh. and smelly. Yeah, well, that's the other thing about it, is that this diet, I have to say, I mean, I enjoy a bell pepper as much as the next person, <laughs> but it doesn't not sound... as much as me. No, 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 well, not at the moment. Um, but uh, it, it sounds like, I, I admit this is not the way that I would normally prepare bell peppers, and they might be delicious this way, but it, it doesn't sound like, like there's a whole lot of seasoning going on with it, or, I mean, the texture seems a little weird, I, I mean, well, how, how did... How would you do it, Chef Paul Prudhomme Goot? <laughs> well, I mean, you know... What I'm an a, obscure chef reference, don't you think? Yeah. Where he makes his own spices. Right. Are you saying I'm fat and can't walk? No, uh, I'm that, saying that I can I should be in, on a spice bottle. Well, Paul Prudhomme is like walk. is like 350 pounds, and he's like, I, yeah, I think he has trouble walking. Actually, my parents have eaten at his restaurants. Um, so I haven't, but uh, I understand that he um, he's, he's quite a, quite a large man to the point that um, he he might have trouble supporting his own weight. So I'll I'll, I'll, I'll thank you to find another obscure chef. <laughs> Not all of us are on the bell pepper diet, How about okay? Jeff Smith, the frugal gourmet. He's uh, dead. That's I'm good. Been... Actually, you could have called me Tyler Florence. Um, that would have been worse because I think he's a douchebag. Um, I think Tyler Florence is a douchebag. Even though he is from South Carolina, I understand, uh, like I am. So there would be a similarity, except for the fact that he's a douchebag and I'm not. So the similarity kind of ends there. Are you sh- I mean, don't take this the wrong way, Paul, but are you sure you're not a douchebag? Like, how does one know? I mean, I don't Am I a douchebag? No, no, no. I, no, I don't think you are. I'm just saying, do you, have you ever wondered if you are? Um, I think I'm pretty self-aware. Like, I, I'm, uh, uh, so I know that I, uh, have douchebaggy moments, but I think I'm pretty able to, uh, like detect when you, them. Like when you reached into my purse earlier? <laughs> No, I think that was actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, if there was an offense there, it wasn't the offense of being a douchebag. It was some. It was a. It was a different offense. 